Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world's dumbest modeling and cosplaying and prop and toy channels, apparently, as well. Pit Stain Hobbies. I'm your Ghostbuster for the day, uh, Schwartz. Um, and we got a package in from Ectoware. Ooh, baby. If anyone doesn't know what this is, it's their brand new, highly accurate um, Ghostbusters flight suit. I'm going to be very careful because there is cloth and stuff in here. I love the tape, by the way. Nice touch. Uh, the proprietor of this business is named Thiago. Not this, I, can't I can't pronounce his last name. Nice guy. Uh, put a nice little stand sticker on here. Clearly, clearly the... the uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. There's more. Oh, look at that. We got a little uh, nice little Ghostbusters no ghost patch sticker. There we go. Cool. Oh, nice touches. Nice touches, dude. You know, sometimes just having fun packaging. You know, Ecto Labs does that too when they send you stuff. Um, they go, oh, what do we got in here? He said he was throwing in a couple things here for me. Let's see what we got here. We got a leg hose, uh, silicone. Looks uh, looks pretty nice, actually. It's, uh, yeah, nice, thick, heavy duty silicone rubber. The leg hose itself is the right yellow. It is not really. Uh, not kinky, like, you know, this, I got a leg hose from, uh, GB fans, it wasn't quite as good, plus it's got a built-in, uh, key ring and toggle on there, so that's nice, all right, we got some patches in here, let's see what we got here, ooh, that's a pretty nice patch, look at that, it's made out of the, you know, the Valori, velvety, I don't know what you call it, uh, Moleskin, I don't know, some one of those things. Someone correct me in the comments. I'll send you out a Pit Stain Hobbies sticker. Um, there you go. Maybe I should do a Ghostbusters theme one also. So let's do that. We got that there. And then I couldn't figure out what I wanted on my uniform. So, um... <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> it got misspelled Schwarz. Uh, <laughs> that's German for black. There we go. Okay, so that was a fun little blooper right there. Ah, uh, Thiago. <laughs> Somebody. I heard there was, you know, a couple mistakes you had to pay for. I didn't get charged any extra, but there we go. We got we got multiple options here. So, on to the 600-pound uh, uh, gorilla in the room. Ah, the flight suit. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, wait, wait. One more thing in there. There is a zip tie. Whoa, easy now, easy now. Calm down there. I'm just, just stop it. Ah, it was my big T square for like cutting drywall. Um, we do have a zip tie to put around to secure the uh, the leg hose in place, which is nice. Let's see what we got here. Okay, first of all, yeah. Look at that material. Look at that. Look at that zipper. A proper YKK. That's a nice high quality zipper. Now, I ordered a 50R. This is gonna be way too big for two thirds of my body. However, it's gotta fit around my gut. And um, unfortunately, uh, yeah, we, we have, a, I gotta go on a diet. We have too many uh, malt beverages here. So let's take a look here. Ectoware tag, the exterminator, made in the USA. That is a big deal. These are made in Texas, okay? 100% cotton machine wash, cold, tumble dry load, do not use chlorine bleach, made in the USA, of imported cloth. Well, that's fine, because I don't think we make that much cloth in the USA, but this is sewed together by a company that does nothing but utility jumpsuits and the like. Wow, look at all those nice brass zippers on those pockets. We got the, we got the Velcro on the sides. Oh boy, it's got the, you know, the double shoulder thing going on there. Got the Velcro straps on the wrists. Let's move down to the peep show. Hello, whoop de doo No, oh, come on, Ian, grow up. Okay, legs, got some nice, big, again, YKK zippered compartments here on the legs. We've got this button snap with a little uh, 
long pocket there for like a pen or something. Another pocket here, again, brass zippers. Okay, we got the side pocket on the side of the leg at the bottom. Nice, this thing has, <laughs> I like cargo pants. I'm wearing cargo pants right now and this out cargo pants any of my cargo pants. Okay, and we got, we got pen holders here or other geeky things you could put down to your leg. Let's check out the back. This is a weighty, this is a good heavyweight material. Um, oh, the arm. Ooh, look at that. Look at that detail. That's looking good. That is very nice. You got the zipper right there also for that pocket. This arm doesn't have anything on it. No ghost patch will be there sooner or later. I am going to take this to my tailor because I had to order it big enough for my belly. It's like every time I order a suit, every time I buy a suit for an event, I get it to fit around my belly and then the rest of it, I look like a former president that everybody hates in a big baggy, silly looking suit. So I have to take this in. Now, since this was professionally manufactured in the USA, I think my, uh, my seamstress actually, um, oh yeah, look at that. And the belt goes through all the way through the back. We got back zipper access inside to get to your inner, like your, your regular street clothes that'll be underneath this or your long johns, uh, depending on which movie you're doing. Um, yeah, that is excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent quality. This is really, really well stitched together. Double stitched everywhere. The inside cuffs, those are nicely stitched. And it is a really, it, it just, it's a, it's a substantial material. Now we have a comparison, okay? So without me putting this whole giant, geez Louise, thing on, I'm six feet tall and about 250 pounds or so. So let me get this here. Um, so I already had a suit. I've had it for actually, I've been lazy. I've had it for well over a year and I never did anything with it. But this is from GB Fans. And this is the, this is the true spec, I believe. Let me get here. Yeah. So this is the true spec uh, CWU 27P from GB fans. And you can already tell the, I mean, sorry, it's a lot of loose thread. The, the shoulders, the, the shoulder, uh, the double shoulder is not nearly as big. Um, the zippers are not YKK and they're not shiny bright brass. Um, it's, it's not got a lot of the features like some of this, it's got this on the arm instead of the, uh, I don't know if that, I don't know which one's honestly correct me. Um, but this one has a, a Velcro flap over it. Um, if we get down near the crotch and the legs, um, we don't have all of the same accoutrement on the legs. There is a leg pocket on the back, but it doesn't have all those extra pockets. This has an additional uh, pocket right here you could do something with. Um, but you know, the original Ghostbusters suits were not this material either. And yeah, we got, you know, we got the waist, the waist strap thing. Um, now overall, I mean, material for material and color for color. Like let's compare the arm here to the same arm here. Like very different sizes. They did a lot of measurements, a lot of research, and just the material alone. This is, this is a slightly thicker, but a lot more robust uh, ripstop material. It's got the nice, the nice pattern on it. I don't even know if the camera's gonna, I better stand up, get that. Yeah, see? Um, yeah, this is, this is, this has structure. This is just a bag of cloth. Uh, I have pre-washed this a few times to try to shrink it down however much it would before I took it to my tailor, but oh, I hit the camera, I'm sorry. But now I'm probably just gonna give this away to someone. It does have some Velcro there. 
uh, which we don't necessarily need because we'll be sewing our patches on. However, since I have two cool name tags now, I might do a Velcro um, modification so I can swap them out. <laughs> cool. Okay. So we're not just comparing that. Let's do this. Let's do another comparison or two. So uh, 10 out of 10 in my book. Um, it's not the Magnolia. It didn't take, you know, forever to get here from overseas. You know, uh, I think they're made in India or, or Bangladesh or, or something in that, some place in that area. And let me just, uh, just one more time. Look, you've got this thing here that the true spec does not have. Um, yeah, the true spec is, is blank in that area. This has this. And then on top of that, <clears throat> it's just such, so much nicer material. You know, the pen pockets over there. Where's that other leg? Is that over here? Yeah. And this is, this is the true spec. It just doesn't have any structure. It's like pajamas. That's kind of what it feels like. It feels like pajamas or, you know, a nice well-worn t-shirt of, of like thickness and durability of material. And this feels like you could roll down a damn rocky hill and it won't rip. Um, this is, it's, it's a beautiful flight suit. Bravo, Thiago. Um, I'm going to get this tailored up, get my patches put on and oh man, it's going to be awesome. So that is fantastic, but let's not just, let's not just stop there. Let me put that aside. Let me just, hold on a second. Let's, let's do this. Um, let me put these out of the way. I'm going to go get my scale. Let's see what we got here. Okay. On... Okay, it's on pounds and ounces. Now I'm going to put the box on the scale. I'm going to put the box on the scale. We're 10.2 ounces, so we're going to zero the scale. So now this is weightless, this box. Let's put, put the GB fans in here. Two pounds, eight ounces. You can see right there, two pounds, eight ounces. And let's take the Ectoware. I'm crumpling this up, but I gotta, I'm going to wash this a few times anyway before I take it to the tailor. Wait. Okay, stable. Three pounds, one ounce. So this is over a half pound heavier um, due to the thicker, you know, the heavier duty construction of the suit. So it is definitely, I mean, you could feel it when you touch it. Heavier duty suit, for sure. Okay, Scale, we don't need you anymore. Bye. Okay, and we'll just put you over there so you can fall over and make a racket in a second. Let's uh, compare this fella to, where the hell is it? Oh, here we go. Now, this is my Ecto Labs leg hose set. So... Size comparison of the leg tubes. Ecto Labs, and this is Ecto Wear. We've got six holes on each. Um, this has the different uh, mounting mechanism. Um, this isn't a review of really. Come on. You know, I got a bigger screwdriver, whatever. But this twists and comes out, so this stays on the flight suit and this part comes off overall it's it's pretty nice it's it's an it's a good color they're both pretty close on colors uh this sews directly on uh this was clearly you know a pour into a mold um and this was i think 3d printed um the other slight difference here is the uh, leg hose connectors are uh, magnetic on ectolabs and this part um, fits into the gun belt differently. This has a little thing. I've confused how it works again, but I'll figure it out. And this has this. So, but it does have this, which is nice. So, do I, which one do I like better? I, I, 
I still prefer the Ecto Labs a little more, but this is a far cry better than um, the one from GB Fans. No offense, their their hose was okay, but I think this is your new best hose if you if especially if you can't get one from Ecto Labs. Definitely, you definitely want um, one of these. This is a nice. That's nice. And then we got patches. I wonder if I got patches floating around. I mean, we also did a comparison a while back. <clears throat> between the standard um, belt from uh, GB fans, which barely fits around me, and there's there's Ghostbusters bigger than I am, and I'm a pretty big dude. But and then we got the uh, the Magnoli uh, Clothiers uh, one, which is uh, a larger belt, and it's much much heavier duty. Again, it's it's just a thicker, heavier, sturdier material. <clears throat> And we got, let me see, we got elbow pads here. Hold on a second. Let's compare now. Let's compare this to the name tag from uh, GB Fans. So GB Fans on the bottom, Ectoware on the top. It's a slightly thicker material. Um, I, I don't know. Other people may be able to tell better than me which one is more size appropriate or looks better, but... There they both are. The one from GB Fans is perfectly fine in my book. And then we got a couple of the patches from GB Fans. Um, so this is the Ectoware. And the closest comparison would be this one from GB Fans. Um, basically, almost identical in size. Uh, you know, they're... They're both really nice. This is a little whiter of material. I know it's hard to tell under the light. This is like a thicker, um, almost a, a craft felt type of stuff. And this is definitely much more pliable. This may, in fact, be whatever I think is moleskin or something. I forget um, the exact term of the material. But th I, this, is, this, this is nicer. This is just, there's... There's not much comparison. Then there's the GB fans, you know, idealized. If you want a nice, clean, perfectly, you know, cut and dry, you know, no weirdness going on. If you want that type of patch, then, you know, that, that's a good one also is the idealized from GB fans. But this, this patch from uh, Ectoware, that's going on the suit for sure. The name tag, put off. I'm using pit tag. I think, I, I just, I think these are better. They're not so, this is a little too big, it feels like to me. Um, we got some utility gloves, you know, those chemical gloves from GB fans. And then, uh, yeah. And then here's the, here's the GB fans, um, thing. And let's compare it. So Ecto Labs, Ecto Wear, GB fans. Ah, uh, yeah. Nah, no thanks. No, Sorry. I'll give it away for free. If someone wants that, it's yours for free. Email me. And um, if, you're, if you're further than a few bucks shipping, you pay for the shipping and you can have it. Um, so that being said, we're going to have ourselves a very nice, high-quality Ghostbusters cosplay. I will do another review once I have this tailored to fit um, with patches installed. Also, if someone needs this belt, same thing. Email me. I'll send it over to you. I thought I had a spare leg hose from GB fans floating around somewhere, but I might have mailed it out. Um, yeah, so the, the leg hose is, is quite nice, actually, from, uh, from Ectoware. It, it definitely looks a hell of a lot better than the GB fans. No offense, GB fans. Um, you know, but the patch, definitely better than GB fans patch. Uh, yeah, just a, a, a brighter, whiter, more supple. It, that's the other thing. It's supple. It'll move with the suit. This is a bit rigid. See, like, it, 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 like, creases when you bend it, and this doesn't. See, it just bends. So this is great. Um, I don't know. I think they did more research on this, on these name patches. So I'm definitely going to go, go with the Ectoware name patches, absolutely for sure, especially if I do a Velcro mod. <clears throat> and I'll have Velcro put on the suit and then Velcro put on both of these so I can swap them out uh, as, I, as I want. So like I could wear, I could wear like pit stain to cons or somewhere someone might recognize the name and then I'll just wear this like we're going to Halloween parties or, or I'm just hanging around the house busting ghosts. 
Um, and also today was a glorious day. Well, yesterday was a glorious day. Is we uh, the Haslab proton? Uh, sorry, the Haslab trap and uh, PKE meter. Oh yes, it's all coming together for us, us 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 forty forty to fifty something year olds who grew up on that stuff, and also the younger generation who just love Ghostbusters. We're in good times, everyone. These are good times. <laughs> Schwarz. That was funny, Thiago. I like that. Nice, nice. I mean, I know you didn't make this mistake. It was definitely, definitely at the factory. But I'm really, really, really liking this. The quality on this. This is even better than I expected. I expected it to be really nice. And this is just really, really nice. Yeah, we're going to. So let's see. If we did this. Um, yeah, it's like around there or something. But if we do this. Yeah, it seems more appropriate. And also I can swap it out for the pit stain. That is so cool. All right. I think this has been a long enough review. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I got a regular, a 50 regular. I know I got a big gut. That's really it. I'm not that big of a dude otherwise. I mean, I'm six feet tall, but I'm not some massive giant hulking beast of a human. Let me get all this flotsam and jetsam out of here. This is a funny one. I'm keeping this just to gag on them every now and then. I'll be like, hey, you spelled my name wrong. Um, so, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Ectoware delivered. Um, you know, it's a, he's, he, it's a new entity, but he's been a Ghostbusters fan for very long, as long as the rest of us, at least. And uh, beautiful products. Beautiful products. Love it. All right. Well, that's that. Thanks for watching. Bust you next time. Adios, everybody.